Okay, so I'm going to try this one more time. This is the hydraulic press. Um, this is the ram area. I have my welding dies in place. Um, I can change those dies out pretty easily just by pulling them out and putting new ones in. Um, this is the controlling area, the controller area. This is the electronic controller box, the on off switch and the depth adjustment control. Now on the depth adjustment control, this is the micro switch that stops the RAM from going down. Um, it is activated by this lever when this graduated cylinder contacts the lever. This is all attached to the RAM and comes down when the, when the RAM functions and then goes back up when it has hit this switch. The depth of uh, the time is set for the rise here. It's set by time. You can see I have this set for about um, half a second. Uh, so it will come down. This will contact the micro switch, stop the, de stop the depression cycle, and then it will rise up for half a second before it starts to come back down again. This is the first of the control um, switches. This is on an articulating arm, so you can put it anywhere. This is a joy switch. When I push the joy switch up, the ram will travel up. When I push the joy switch down, the ram will travel down. Now, if you take this, situ this controller up and out of, the, um, out of play, when the ram comes down, it will stop and hold when, um, until you push the switch back up again. I also have a foot controller switch here um, where you stick your foot in there and you press the toe down and it will drive the ram down. You press your heel down, it'll bring the ram up. For uh, auto cycling action, I welded this little tab on here so I can just step on that and hold it and the and the ram will cycle up and down continuously so um, basically to set your depth if you have a work piece that you want to draw out these are the welding dies but i have drawing dies let's say you had a, a work piece that was one inch you would set it in here turn this on cycle your ram down till it contacted that bring this down till it contacts the little switch and when the controller is turned on there's a red light on here that when the micro switch is enabled the red light comes on so once it's on you've contacted the switch you tighten this down and now you are set if you want to make your depression an eighth of an inch you would turn this knob so that it is going an eighth more before this switch will contact. If you want a micro control, you can undo this screw and drop this down. And now you've just added that much depth to it. So I have like a little piece of shim stock in here for a 16th of an inch and I can just stick it in there and I can drop down a 16th of an inch. So right now this is set to cycle at about uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch from where I had stopped it. So I'm just going to turn it on. It makes a hellacious noise and I'm going to step on the foot switch and you can see it cycle. So here we go. Turn it on. Step on the switch. Now, as you were working a piece, if you had your drawing dies in there, you would just pull your piece along and it would draw it out, making that constant depth in it and pull it out. I'm going to stop this video now. I'm going to come back with a piece of hot steel uh, at a later time and show you this actually drawing out. Thanks.